Hey man, what's poppin'? It's Karen Civil. David A. Yellow. It's your boy Young Greatness. I am London J. And it's your boy Wild Fan Luchi. Hey, it's Karen Stuffin. Hey man, it's your boy Young Drew. I'm the O B. Nah, we with the Dirty Boys. We sippin' Dirty Boys. Dirty, dirty Boys. And this is Dirty Boys Radio. This is the Dirty Boys Show. Drip oh. your way to DirtyBoys.com. Yeah. No, for real. Sister Kid Thugger Thugger. You got the biggest yeah, best friend ever, and right now you're tuned in with Dirty Boys 1079, my family. Ew, 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 ew. about two, three years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That was when you first was gone, because you sent it to me. Yeah, y'all were first. We were sitting there, you was, we were sitting there showing you about uh, how the first record popped out. He was like, oh, I didn't know them niggas was doing any of that shit. Y'all out there first. What's going on, brother? Proud of you, nigga. <laughs> first of all. Yeah, that was it. Last time I saw you, nigga, we was getting mm. shot at. You told me y'all was at the movie. Last time we was getting shot at. We was at the movie theater, nigga. We was at the movie. That was a Zaytoven movie. It was like, yeah, nigga, we chilling. And he was like, yeah, man, we gonna come out of the station. It was me, Coco Kiss, some of the dirty girls and shit. We sitting there talking. Oh, yeah, homie, da da da. Bow, bow, bow. And the fucking dog's like, oh. Who the hell that nigga was? I had text yeah, you. Yeah, man, you, Kenichi Watt Chickens, High 1079, Atlanta's number one hip hop station. Dirty Boys, we are checking in right now. You did. Normally, we do battlegrounds right now, man. Ain't but no battlegrounds. No battle not today, ground. man. Just because, you know, I, I am very happy to say that, uh, you know, a lot of artists have been on battlegrounds, whether they even know it or not. But I will say this that, um, you know, I know, I know me and Jay have had this gentleman on battlegrounds a few times. In particular, there was a song that we were really animated about. Remember, it was the one with him and Cash Out at that time? Mm -hmm. We were like fans of that record. That was the that one record. we was like, record. that was it. Yeah, yeah, that was it. And I was like, I was like, we always talking about you way. That was years ago talking about then. I was I was like, bro, I, I think y'all are missing out what's going on. And I had a bunch of college parties where um, you know, back in obsession days and the Ritz days, you know what I'm saying? I was hosting and you was always, you know, being a part of and back in the day when people were trying to hit on you with the with the bullets. Stopping the stopping the parties, yeah. but <laughs> you know what I mean. Y younger days, younger like, you know days. You know what I'm saying? Back, you know? back in that time, but now you you just grown, grown have man graduated status. to yeah. a different level. Um, ATL, ladies and gentlemen, young thug is in the young building. Young thug is in the what building, man. You good? Yeah, dirty boys keep me good. <laughs> all, all, all day, man. So look, the last time we you you came here, that ill ill went made the internet break. You right. know what I'm saying? We also got some exclusives today. Slime season three is on the way. Slime season three. February the fifth to be exact. Man, so look, the rumors was that it was it was actually a mixtape first. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what was going on, on the street. So this is actually what? An album or a mixtape? It was a mixtape, but I, I went broke, so I had to say <laughs> <laughs> Nah, yeah, it was a mixtape, but due to the, the financial statuses Lee all going through, he wanted to sell it, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I wanted to give it away, but it's for sale. It's on um, iTunes. One of the songs um, called F-U-C-K Cancer is on iTunes right now. It's inspired by Boosie and it's fe um, featuring one of the three amigos, Quavo. Okay. And the rest of it is going to be on um, iTunes. And then I'm going to do a mixtape with Fetty. Right. And the mixtape is already done. With Fetty Wap? Yeah. I and the mixtape with Migos is done. Okay. I'm putting two mixtapes out. They actually talked about that. We just had them up here earlier this week, I think it was. And, and they were talking about that, you know, uh, they, they kind of waiting for that, that thing to yes. drop right there. This new era of Atlanta that we're, we're in and we're a part of, it was so hard for the new era to kind of break through. And I, I, I apologize. I hate to, you know, make it seem like we got to put our dirty boys into it. But, like, we were the new era of radio. So it was like, oh, you can't say that on the radio. Now everyone emulates us. You guys, oh, why does he dress like that? Why does he do things like that? Why does why do the Migos rap like that? Now everyone emulates you guys. Yeah. Um, I was also told, speaking of emulation, Kanye West said you inspired him to get back into music. How did how does that feel? I mean, he's a worldwide figure, bro. Crazy. That's yeah, Kanye West. At the end of the day, whether you, I mean, it's still Kanye, bro. You know what I mean? Um, of course, it it the same way you feel about him. I feel about him the same way I feel. I feel like he's a, a genius. He's he's a he a he a rock star and he ain't. Trying to be like me, right. so you know it's crazy. And I'm a rock star. I'm a genius, and I ain't trying to be like him. Right. So you know it's just a weird chemistry when we meet anyway. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and what's up with the music with that? With you and Kanye? Man, man, that man got probably more music than anybody in the world. <laughs> man, that man got more music than. How uh, many songs you guys done together? Probably about forty. Forty, 40 and Kanye. Wow. Yeah. Forty songs together. Wow. Yes. Yes. Stupid light skinned man. <laughs> Dirty Boys, man, it is Hot 1079, Atlanta's number one hip hop station. Y'all just now tuning in, man. We've got the boy, our brother, man, uh, Young Thug, is back in the building right now, man. You dig. You done traveled the world. Yes. I, w I want to ask you some serious shit, I mean, and I'm just being like from a, a friend perspective, so it's not like really, I don't care about producers and all that crap. What I really want to know is, at one point, 
back in the day, all the mixtapes you were dropping, you had this, he sounded like Wayne thing, right? And then all of a sudden, it seemed like you found your voice. When did that happen? And who brought it out of you? Uh, them, them, them. Get, talk, <laughs> get on the mic and let them know. Of course it sounds like the most serious question. I want to know. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think, I think um, it's what you said. Uh, I think I started finding my own voice. I feel like I always had my own voice, but everybody there used to say to the Wayne. Right. They still do. I think I found my own voice when, I, you know, I always paid attention to Wayne. I always looked up. So anytime Wayne did something different, I did, I did something different. You know what I'm saying? And I, well, I ain't ever do like, if he went from being a street rapper to a rock star rapper, I ain't gonna go from a street rapper to a rock star rapper. I'm gonna go from a street rapper to a prince. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Every time he changed, I changed. We never, I never changed. This, to the same thing he changed to. Okay. But every time he changed, I changed. I think he was one of the pe people that made me that that changed it. And um, with Pee Wee Longway, mm -hmm. he always used to he, Pee Wee Longway. Right. He one of the guys that made, that changed it. Um, and what was the other question? I wanted to know who brought that sound out of you. Cause now you, when I first heard you, yeah, you, 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 you used to sound a little right bit like Wayne. Now you sound like Thug. It's that, I can't. I, there's no denying who Thug is now. It's Thug. That's Thug's voice. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, I, I always tell people separates the elite. When you hear Snoop rap, whether you like him or not, you know it's Snoop. When you hear Jay-Z, when you hear the Wayne, you know who it is. When you hear Drake, they don't sound like nobody else. That's one thing the greats have, they don't all sound alike. Now, when I hear Thug, I, that's, that's it. Anybody else coming in going, Aah! like, that's Thug. All right. I definitely hear a little, um, with, with the Rihanna record, I hear her sounding like you a little bit too. You know yeah, she got saying? a swag in there. When I came, see, when I came in the game, I was, I was a little quiet, right, and cool and calm. But I always knew I was, I always knew I was a, a trendsetter. So I was, I always knew people. You know what I'm saying? Not being cocky, I knew uh, people were gonna copy mm -hmm. how right. I sound, my rhythms. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I knew that. So it's something that I never cared about or gave or uh, even paid attention to. So I let, knew me, people, let me let me ask you a question. Like being being an originator, like um, like Spain. I know one of the biggest things that always stayed out in the media was your fashion your fashion fashion sense mm -hmm. of like what di different types of stuff you would wear and clothing wise. Like what is your fashion sense? Like what what makes you wear the things you wear? Like 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 how, how does how does a day of shopping go with Young Thug? <coughs> I think it's weird, but yeah, I don't like. I just I ain't never liked I I never ever liked baggy clothes. Mm. I always like fitted clothes. I guess because right, I was always style. yeah. I guess because I was always into sports. Yeah. <laughs> Slim. Yeah. Fat boys can't wear your clothes. Bro. They, they try. Can. They, they can. They, they just, try. Just, some of them get <laughs> just, just look weird. Right. Yeah, they just look a little weird. Yeah, <laughs> your stomach got a bottom lip, bro. You can't wear that tight so, shirt. So, so, you, so you say you just you just like to dress different in European style, like but you know, but it's like so unique because you you kind of like push the always push the bar of everything like we, we always discuss like you know what I'm saying as far as like the clothes you wear and then you get a kid like Jaden Smith becomes the face of women's uh, Louis Vuitton and nobody says anything about him but a young thug wears something that, uh, this or wear that everybody want to say something and, and kind of like scrutinize you on what you wear like how do you feel about that man I feel I feel it make, it makes me feel more special because it makes it makes me realize that he's not me so you don't give a shit about know. what nobody got to say about your Damn. clothes no, if I so, gave a fuck, man, I'd probably be dead or in jail. So people stop asking questions about clothes. You don't give a fuck, okay? I don't give a damn. And this has been this has actually been thug because a lot of people say like, "We well, thug always dressed like this. It's nothing. It's nothing new. It just now it's been in the forefront." Man, man, I, I ain't never, I ain't never wore baggy clothes. I always liked the clothes to fit. I always was like a runner. I always played sports. I was always into sports, so I always had like on the arm. Right. So. I used to wear on them so much. I used to be so into sports. I go to sleep with my with my with my football uniform. On. <laughs> so I guess I got so used to doing it to the yeah. point where I'm like, okay, so now my my clothes got to be as tailored. Yeah, my clothes most definitely got to be tailored. Well, it's part of the rockstar lifestyle. I mean, your your hip hop is not is not what it was 20 years ago. Where you know what I'm saying in a sense now it's it's in the 90s you had it starting with fashion. But now it's high fashion. We're in the high fashion era of hip hop yes, now. Yes. Back then there was fashion started. You had the you had the companies that started. Jay Z had the company, the Rockefellers and the Fubus and all that stuff. They started their hip hop fashion. But now hip hop fashion has graduated to other things. And you definitely represent that. You Kanye probably and uh, ASAP Rocky, uh, um, they you know are the new hip hop fashion of what's going on right now. But ATL, let's get into this record right quick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we got right now F Cancer. F it. Talk about this one more time yeah, yeah, about why. Uh, this is what, probably going to be my new single. It's called Elf Cancer. It's um, it's tributed to 
uh, Boosie, and it's featuring one of the Migos, and I did it um, to encourage them to keep being strong, and all my, I want all my fans to encourage them and, and jump every time they see them and fall out, and just to keep them living, and I want the youth, young youth to get into cancer because the younger you can see about it, the better it is, the yeah. faster you can get away from it. I want to yeah. say yeah. Too, Time man. Out. Knowledge. Yeah, this is our 1079, Atlanta's number one hip-hop station, yeah. man. And uh, Young Thug is still checking in the building with us right now. If you guys are just now tuning in around the world on HotspotATL.com. Yes, yes, yes. And um, we played the, uh, the F Cancer song. Yes, yes. It, uh, uh, was uh, it's for Boosie, you know what I'm saying, and what he got going on, his struggle. Yes. And you asked all your fans to basically like, just show him some love and fall out about that. Yes. yes. So we, I, please. I have a question. Well, not really a question. Um, well, it is a question. Um, I definitely have to salute you because... Um, I think that a lot of people probably at one point when you first came out didn't think you was gonna last as long, especially if they didn't do the research on you and how like creative you were when you first started mixtapes. Like, uh, what what inspires you to keep being creative with music? You know what I mean? Like your runs, because a lot of the runs, not say your runs, but the first person I think out of Atlanta that we everybody was like, yo, he got some crazy patterns was definitely Future, and everybody used to I think everybody at one point compared you to Future, but now you've separated yourself and went your whole total uh you know what I'm saying like whole t different direction with your cadences and, and your melody. Melodies, like what inspires you to be, keep being creative as far as with the music like because a lot of people like have a ceiling You know what I'm saying they try to do the music, but they don't just get in there and do whatever the hell they want It seems like when you get in the studio, you just do whatever the so What inspires you? Uh, my family my fans most definitely the, the, the most the, They got they give me the most Inspiration they get yeah that big that's a nice big word They give me the most inspiration they give me the most they give me they make me feel like they give me the horses to stand on, you know what I'm saying? So those are the most definitely the first the first the fans first, the family. Niggas like y'all, you know what I'm saying? Boy, you going crazy, you going crazy. That makes that makes me you know what I'm saying? It makes you go even more yes, crazy of course. and keep creating it makes me, yeah. yeah. And then people like Kanye, you know what I'm saying? I've been right. in the studio, I got thirty songs with me. I say a bar and it'll I think it's like, oh no, nah, that's weak. And he'll be jumping out the ceiling. Right. So I'm like, oh, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of different encouragement. I got a question. If Gucci was to come home tomorrow, what would you buy him? Whatever you want. Two. Right, you gotta be you more just specific. Give, you just give that answer as Young Thug <laughs> yeah. ad lib. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was good. Too. Uh, it was good, right? Yeah, I don't need that. It was pretty good, that. man. Um, you like your your first? Uh, um, well, this is a dumb question because I don't I don't really know if you've ever really like had like a regular. Have you had like a regular job before? Never. <laughs> he shook his. If y'all, he shook his head like, are you asking me this right now? <laughs> so, so, so it was, so it was no job that you never had a job used to work for, and it got fired from. No job, ever. Can't think of nothing. <laughs> this man, <laughs> he survived that job. He got a family. <laughs> hey, that's real. Okay. Uh, okay. What's the craziest thing that, that when you were young you got in trouble for that you remember? Your mama whooping your ass for. And you got um, some sisters in here too, so. That's little my lame man daddy, man. <laughs> what he do, he, man? I told my teacher, if he get out of line, chastise him. Even if it comes to you putting your hand on him, chastise him, then call me and I'ma come chastise him. Oh. This stupid ass nigga tried it. <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm, I don't beat, man, I don't beat the teacher. You beat up the teacher? Man, that nigga I'm with me in the front of the class. I had to go to Tribunal, I lost in trial. I had to go to CEP four year. It's all bad. The worst, yeah. <laughs> Worst. Well, I definitely. Hey, what's your what's your what's your uh, worst um what's your worst sexual experience with a girl? Uh, man, it was stank, bro. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody didn't dealt with that one. Oh, <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. What happened when you like when you pulled down the when you pulled down the surprise and the surprise was oh my god what happened? Did you like go get in the shower or what'd you tell her? I was like. I would right. say this, huh? I hope it's not, bro. You should not be still talking to her. Nah, hell, nah. I don't know how this whole keep getting in touch with me, dog. <laughs> God, I didn't. I ain't no pay attention to that. Um, no, nah, I had. What did I say? Oh, I yeah. said it. I'm like, hold on, got out of there. You just like, hold on, I'll be right back. Left. Left. Smart nigga, that's smart. Now. Okay, I got a question. First love, do you remember her? What's My her name? Who? Your first love. The first what, girl I ever had, yeah, you, had you lost your virginity too. What, what, did you even love her, or was it one of them things first like? Girl, yeah, yeah. He said you ever love. Nobody. <laughs> nobody. No, thugs got feelings too, Nat. Thugs got feelings too. Thugs, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, um, man, you, man, I had my question. first kid. I was 
14, 15 years old. So he was he was eating raw dog. Yeah. I do remember you said you came over last time. He was like, yeah, you know, I like Nat Nats. That was a long time right. ago. So yeah, did he still love Nat Nats? No, I, I think of he's course. graduated. Nah, of course. Sensational. Because you done graduated. Of course not. Yeah, of course not. You done traveled around the world and was like, oh, that is, that's what's old. So you we have any more little thugs coming? He's graduating. You, you, you. Look, somebody's like, hell no. She in the background like, hell no. No, sir. No, you good on that? I, I see, I, I see. Hey, Doug, remember, remember this. Tell a girl. Repeat after me. All right, you ready? Tell a girl, say, hey, girl, if you learn to swallow, kids won't follow. Kids won't follow. <laughs> I got one more question for you. Um, I, I I seen you. Uh, I think a vlog that was on World Star. I, I don't know if you was in France. Light skin John. Mm. She was a flight attendant. Yes, I seen that. Mm. Remember that? He was, uh, he was overseas. I don't know where you was at. Paris, was Paris. somewhere. What I do? She had a fat ass. I just want to know how yeah, fat her ass was, she brother. She was a flight attendant. She was the chick who check you in before yeah. you go playing. She had on orange. She was bad was as shit. You, no, she wasn't with her. You was trying to take her with you. <laughs> He's like so bad. <laughs> it's on the net, man. Yeah, yeah. it's on the net. Like internet. Oh. Real star. Oh. <laughs> yeah, let me pull it up. <laughs> Who but, did it? BL? Yeah. V blog. Yeah. B they seen it all. <laughs> hey, she had a fat ass though, brother. So I wouldn't have been mad if you if you would have took her home with you. It's for uh, some shit like that, man. <laughs> we ain't here really looking it up, right? Yeah, I'm about to show him. I ain't never seen it. She had a fat ass. Fine. Fine. Yeah, fine. If one of them over there like that. For real quick though, I mean, is there, is there any other words you want to uh, leave us with before you get up out of here though, while we look this up? Yes, I appreciate everything y'all ever did for me. You know, like I was saying earlier, before we was on air, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, this shit a little bigger than air. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was the first people to ever in, in life even believe in me. I, you know, the other radio stations, they was all cool. They all, they was all, you know, cool in, in my face. When you started making noise. Yeah. After they, they heard y'all. You, know, yeah. you know how many people told us uh, when we were playing you on the air, This is and this is just being honest with you, homie, that... Maybe we shouldn't fuck with you because you had a bad rep in the streets and da da da. And I we cut. Yeah, good music though. Yeah, man. yeah, good music. That, see, to us, you gotta understand where we come from. Like mm -hmm. Jay being from St. Louis, he done seen some shit. I'm from L.A., homie. I done seen some shit. So for me, I'm like, bro, I don't care about all that. What he done did. The boy making music. He making good ass music. I like the shit. You know what I'm saying? I like. I'm gonna play on battlegrounds. What I think y'all need to hear, and I don't have the control power to say what goes in rotation, but I can I can control what I can control. So if I can get you a an interview so you can play you know ill 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 or you know stuff like that before you really blow up. So yeah, yeah. so you know what I'm saying I'll do that. But you know a lot of a lot of people a lot of people gave us beef about that, bro. They probably, they probably on your line trying to get features and and all that good stuff. You know so how calling you to the station like hey man yeah, we they love want, you they now. Call him in now. We love you now. <laughs> Yeah. Well, you always been a nice guy to it's me ever since I met you. You've always been 100 with me, so I don't got. No, I never had anything bad to say about you. Never, bro. I was like, I don't see this young thug person you're talking about right. because he's never brought that around me. Right. Yeah. We always been cool and yeah. 100 solid. Can you still battle rap? Uh, I don't think so. Ain't so much motherfucking <laughs> money involved, man. Nigga still a verse and be like, God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, though, man, I appreciate you stopping by, yeah. man. Slime season on the way. Slime season three. You know what I'm saying? Um, great hearts, great hearts. hearts. There it is. <laughs> Real hearts at all times. Hey, A couple greens. <laughs>